Ballot fraud gave Russia's Putin 22 million extra votes, says expert. Here's a summary of the article. An election expert in Russia has cried foul over the vote on constitutional amendments which may cement President Vladimir Putin's hold on power until 2036. The ballot which ended on Wednesday, saw nearly 78% of voters back the amendments to update the Russian constitution which had been passed in 1993. Russian election expert Sergei S. H. Pilkin, who has examined claims of fraud in previous ballots, has cast doubt on the results, in findings that have been reported in Russian language media outlets such as Medusa and Real Time TV. S. H. Pilkin said that the number of yes votes in some precincts approaching 100% raised alarm bells. Other signs of fraudulent voting, in his view, included a higher proportion of yes votes in polling stations with a higher turnout and results in certain areas being listed in increments of 5%. Examining 88 million votes, he shared graphs of his findings on Facebook, telling Forbes Russia he believed abnormalities suggested that up to 22 million votes may have been fraudulently cast in favor of the changes Putin had backed. There has been no manipulation of votes in Russian elections on this scale in the recent past. In absolute terms, this is unprecedented, he told the publication. It also said that up to 58 million votes might be in doubt because Russia's election law on constitutional reforms does not allow for early voting, the Moscow Times reported, as people were able to cast their ballot over seven days, from June 25 to July 1. This post received a score of 17,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Population of Russia, 144.5 million 2018 Registered voters in Russia, 93 to 100 million 64 to 70%. Fraudulent votes, 22 million They defrauded the election with a approximately 20% margin. Holy shitballs how the fuck do you get away with that? You kill the people that speak against it consistently over decades until people become scared to speak out against you. Don't give the United States any ideas please. Too late, this is our very near future. Don't accept it then and fight for it not to be. Bet it would result in the US version of the Tiananmen Square massacre that Trump likes to admire. Do you think US soldiers would actually fire into a crowd of US citizens, though? I believe if they are ordered to, they would do it. They aren't people who will finish a tour and go back to the family farm. None of their families are property owners much less business owners. They are mostly poor and uneducated who are consistently manipulated into serving more and longer for meager gains. If that means pulling the trigger on a citizen, I'd like to believe they wouldn't. What's the problem? People love to vote in Russia. Some even do two or three times. They are so democratic that they let their people vote more than once. S. Especially if they had a tragic 23 bullets to the back of the head suicide. Oh that's so sad, but he shouldn't worry. I'm sure that even after his demise, he will still be able to vote for Putin. Dead for 20 years? Truly devoted Putin voter. Voted once for Putin in Moscow, then so devoted to Putin I went and voted in St. Petersburg and in Minsk too. Don't even have to worry about accidentally voting for someone else, the ballot counters will correct your mistake for you if you do. Mock elections are a staple in many authoritarian countries. Business as usual in Russia. I have a very bad feeling that if things go bad this November they'll become business as usual here in the US too. No need when you have the electoral college. And digital voting. And strategically unplaced polling stations. If any at all in democratic areas. That was just so Biden could beat Bernie. Wow, a fantastic bot very impressive I have an odd feeling Sergey S. H. Pilkin is going to end up dead. Mysteriously fell out of a three-story building shot himself in the back of the head twice this was not an election and not a referendum but just a voting for new constitution changes with made up rules rules where putin could not have lost like you cannot speak against it only for it independent people are not allowed in voting commissions complex wording of changes in constitution which mean nothing but allow to advertise them as best thing ever etc this video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.